hello who wants to cook it's lady pam here and you're so so welcome so today my friend Charmaine is going to take us through on how she makes her coleslaw salad Enjoy. hello today we're making coleslaw salad so these are the ingredients for today so you grab that we get started so we're using an onion a lemon lettuce cabbage some cherry tomatoes some spring onions, a carrot, an apple, some salad mayonnaise, some vinegar, and some salt. Let's get started. So starting off, we're going to make our salad dressing. So you take three scoops of salad mayonnaise, then you add it to your mixing bowl. Then you also take your vinegar, you just pour it on top like that. Then you also add your salt for seasoning then you mix it all up so you're going to make sure that there are no lumps so you have to continue mixing if there are any lumps present we need it thick and creamy okay so you also take your lemon then you squeeze the lemon juice out like that then you also mix mix it like that mix it like that <laughs> it's creamy look at it yeah so you take your cling wrap just wrap it like that you can refrigerate it or you can just set it aside depending how you like your salad cold okay with the vegetables okay guys so with the vegetables the shape and the size of the veggies really matter so you're going to have and make or cut the vegetables into a very nice shape you need it very appealing in appearance okay okay so with the cabbage you try and make thin or medium sized slices of the cabbage, okay? Then after that, you add them to your salad bowl. So with the quantity of the ingredient depends with the number of servings and the people who are taking the salad, okay? <laughs> so you also take your carrot. So before you grate your carrot, you need to peel it off first. The thin skin outside have to peel it off. Then you grate it. So you can use any side of the grater the one that cuts it into very small size or the big size anything is okay then you take your apple <laughs> you take your apple so you need to chop your apple but i prefer chopping it into cubes so you can chop it into any shape or size okay so you chop it like that into small cubes if you like like i did then you add to your salad bowl, then you also take your spring onions. Make sure to chop them like that, then you add them to the salad bowl. You also take your cherry tomatoes. Okay, so for the cherry tomatoes, we need to remove the seeds. You have to remove the seeds, guys. And then after that, that's when you can chop them like that. We remove the seeds and all that inside because we don't want it to be soggy you don't want the salad to be soggy okay so we're done with the veggies my bowl was quite small so i had to use a bigger one that's why i had to transfer all my ingredients into the bigger bowl before you add your salad dressing you need to mix your veggies like that you mix them all up so that it's easier oh uh, when you add salad dressing then you add it add your salad dressing like that okay then you have to mix thoroughly, making sure that all the veggies have been mixed well with the salad dressing. You don't want to be getting some other veggies that don't have salad dressing. Guys, it won't be nice. Oh my god, look at the color before we're even done. Look how the cherry tomatoes are popping out <laughs> and the spring onions. <laughs> Okay, so you mix, mix, mix. Then when serving, you can take your salad. Then you just put it on top of your lettuce. Like that, guys. Just look at it. Oh, I'm already drooling. <laughs> this looks so nice and appetizing. Hope you enjoy this. If you try it, so guys, try this out. Love you. <laughs> wow, such a wonderful dish. Thank you so much, Shemaine. Now let's go to food for the soul. 
Today we are looking at Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 and it reads that but he was pierced for our rebellion crushed for our sins he was beaten so we could be whole he was whipped so we could be healed another version says that by his stripes we are healed amen so today the lord wants to remind us of his love for us amen he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son so that you and i could believe and have eternal life amen Jesus' purpose on this earth was to be beaten, to be crushed, to be killed, to be crucified for you and I. He came to reconcile us back to the Father. He came to suck out every darkness in our life and breathe in us the life of God. Amen. That is the healing we are talking about. Healing us on every side. Healing us from the crowns of our head to the soles of our feet. Amen. If your spirit is healed, your body is healed, your, your soul is also healed. Hallelujah. Every aspect of your life is healed. When Jesus Christ becomes the center in him, we begin to move, we begin to live, and we begin to have our being. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. So I just want to encourage you if you have not accepted him as your lord and personal savior to accept him today to invite him into your life because when he comes into your life you are saved you are healed you are rescued you are restored amen thank you so much for watching i hope you have been blessed by this exhortation god bless you so much bye